So today I'm talking about a Ford with a P2195 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Ford P2195 code? Well, it's an oxygen sensor signal bias stuck lean bank one sensor one. And what does this mean? Well, there's sensors located on the exhaust and they're reporting back to the onboard computer how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And this bank one sensor one sensor is reporting back to the onboard computer that the air fuel ratio mixture is off, that there's too much air going into the engine and not enough gas. And so it's gonna have to be troubleshooting, no why? And some possible causes, well, it could be a bad sensor, could be an exhaust leak, could be the mass sensor, might be in the wiring, there could be a fuel pressure problem, it might be a faulty fuel injector, and possibly a vacuum leak. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is to go check out this Bank 1 Sensor 1 oxygen sensor. And Bank 1 is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder, that's gonna be Bank 1. And then the first sensor going down on that side is gonna be the Sensor 1. For example, here's a 2007 Ford F-150 and Bank 1 Sensor 1 would be located right here. It's gonna be before the catalytic converter and it's also called the upstream oxygen sensor. And there's some different ways you go about testing that O2 sensor. I made some videos on that. I'll put a link down below if you need to check that out. But the first thing to do is to go check it out and be sure that it's working good. One thing to keep in mind when you're checking out that sensor is be sure there's no exhaust leaks because if there is any exhaust leaks, it could throw these sensors off. Because if air is going in because of an exhaust leak, then that sensor is going to think there's more oxygen inside the exhaust than there should be. So be sure there's no exhaust leaks or anything like that. But basically, first thing to do is go test or replace that Bank 1 Sensor 1 oxygen sensor. The next thing to go check out is going to be the MAF sensor or the mass airflow sensor. And the MAF sensor basically measures all the air that goes into the engine and then reports this to the onboard computer. And when these get dirty or go bad, then they could throw everything off. So the next thing to do is to go test or replace that MAF sensor. Again, I made a video on that. If you want to check that out, I'll put a link down below. But next thing to do is to go test that MAF sensor. And so if you go and check out that Bank 1 Sensor 1 and it tests good, that MAF sensor tests good, there's no issues there, then it is possible that there's a fuel delivery problem going on. And this would be something like a bad fuel pump, fuel filter, or something along these lines. For some reason, the right fuel pressure is not getting up to the Bank 1 side of the engine. And so the easiest way to troubleshoot that is to do a fuel pressure test. You basically get a fuel gauge and you connect it to the fuel rail up on top of the engine and then you see what the fuel pressure is and you look up what your four is supposed to be running at and if it's running below that then you know that's the issue for example say it's supposed to be rated at like 50 psi but for some reason you're reading 10 then you know that's the problem and it's a fuel delivery problem and fuel problems would be something like the fuel pump has gone bad or a clogged up fuel filter especially if you have an inline fuel filter some fords have this and some don't sometimes the fuel filter is inside with the fuel pump but if you do have an inline fuel filter and it gets clogged up then it's going to block the flow of, of gas going up to the engine and that can cause problems but the next thing to go and look for is going to be a fuel related issue the next thing that can cause this problem is a bad fuel injector on bank one and basically if one of these goes bad it's not working correctly or something like that then it could be throwing everything off there's some different ways you go about testing to see if you have a bad fuel injector if you pull the spark plugs on bank one you could check to see if one of them's got discolorization on it or something like that so you can see what's going on when it's firing like I said, there's some different ways you go about troubleshooting for a bad fuel injector, but the next thing to go and test for is gonna be those fuel injectors on bank one. And another thing that could cause this problem is if there's a vacuum leak going on somewhere. And there's a few methods for going about trying to find a vacuum leak. One method is to use a smoke machine and you feed smoke into the air intake. And then wherever the smoke comes out, you know where the leak's at. Some mechanics will use like a spray and they'll start up the engine and they'll spray wherever they think the leak is at. And if the engine idle changes, then they know they found the leak. So there's some different methods you go about trying to find a vacuum leak. But basically you want to go around and check all these hoses and everything going into the intake and be sure that there's no vacuum leaks going on or anything like that. Because if there is, then it can cause issues. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Ford with a P2195 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.